everyone welcome back to the world of english exams and in today's video we are going to learn some essential tips that would help you to get a band 8 or higher in the ielts writing particularly this video is going to be about the ielts writing task 2 in the next video i am going to tell you the essential tips for writing task 1 so without any further delay let's check today's video out and don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to our channel world of english exams so let's get started okay so this is uh, the format of the writing test and i have segregated it for academic and general because task 1 of the writing test differs while task 2 is the same now let's check what are the essential tasks that you need to complete in the academic test so the academic writing test contains two tasks uh, to, which are to be completed within a total time of 1 hour so there will not be any extra time given so make sure that you are completing both of these tasks within the set time of 1 hour now the task 1 is a report a report basically is uh, is, is nothing but a written data i must say that uh, a, a graph will be given to you or some sort of a diagrammatic representation will be given to you and you are supposed to be summarizing it and explaining it in your own words uh, in at least 150 words so the minimum word count is 150 now the task 2 for academic students is an essay and you should write a minimum of 250 words and the approximate time given for this is 40 minutes however you can uh, you can actually spend more or less time depending on your proficiency and let's say you are more comfortable at writing essays then it wouldn't take much time for you to complete this but the uh, overall time given to complete the writing task is 60 minutes or 1 hour now moving on to the general training test here also you you would be getting two tasks and both of them must be completed within 1 hour task 1 for a uh, general students is a letter so you need to write a letter uh, and a minimum word count again here is 150 words task 2 is the same just like the academic students even the general training candidates also have to write an essay and the minimum word count is 250 so both the tasks should be completed in order to get the band score so now having understood what are the what are some of the general things about a uh, task the writing task so now let's move on to learning some essential and useful tips that might help you on the main exam day so make sure that you are following each and every tip i'll take some time to explain it uh, explain each one of the tips and make sure you have a pen and paper ready or maybe you're saving this video for later uh just pause in case if you are unable to understand or maybe uh if you want to take some more time to uh, read the tips once again you can pause the screen uh, any time okay so uh, as i told you today's video is going to talk about task 2 that is essay writing so let's see what is the first tip read the question properly and fully to understand what is the main topic this is often thought to be very simple but uh, many of the candidates would be losing the track and maybe they they would be deviating from the topic just because they haven't understood and read the question so take one or two minutes time in reading the question properly trying to gauge what the meaning might be so do not jump into conclusions read the question properly and fully so just don't read the first statement no you should be reading the whole question and not just that guys you can see that in each and every essay question there would be one common statement that is give relevant examples from your own experience to support your view so which means you have to state either an experience or an example in order to completely respond to the task so we are going to see what are the factors that would decide the score uh, in the writing test however just as a quick tip i am telling you that you have to read the question completely don't underestimate uh, this point guys because it's going to be really critical in your essay writing 
so the better you read the question the better you will plan and execute now let's move on to the second point identify the types of question and prepare your response accordingly often uh, the major problem is that the candidates would read it in a hurry because they are uh, you know they're focused on the time management of course it's a very good thing but uh, do not neglect reading and identifying what the question actually is for example if the question says discuss both views so you should not give your opinion in this case because clearly the question prompt is not asking for your opinion you are only asked to discuss both the views so if at all you give the opinion here if you are not reading the question properly so you might land up in giving unnecessary details such as your opinion which might indirectly lower your score so let's see to it that you don't do that so you are going to identify the question type properly and respond appropriately to the given question now let's move on to the next tip there are various types of essays which you have to prepare like discuss both views discuss both views and give your example advantages and disadvantages so here you need to give both the advantages as well as the disadvantages you can't skip any of them problems and solutions if you read the question clearly it says problems which means you have to give a minimum of two problems and solutions so you need to give a minimum of two solutions you need to propose such feasible measures then agree or disagree see uh, see this question clearly guys it is not agree and disagree it is agree or disagree so you need to make a choice you need to either fully agree or completely disagree you don't have an option to partially agree or partially disagree in this question type then to what extent do you agree or disagree now this is what makes essay writing a specific and unique question types like these where you can partially agree or partially disagree then we have something called double question where two questions will be given to you and you're supposed to be answering both those questions in in your essay so if you're looking for detailed videos uh, pertaining to all of these question types individually then the best channel to find them is worldofenglishexams.com so here i have given uh, a detailed explanation not just that i have given a sentence by sentence structure of how to write the introduction how to write the body paragraphs and how to write the conclusion with the structure so please check out our video series on the ielts writing task 2 So now having said that let's move on to the next tip understand what of these mean and devise a plan about writing the essay yes so planning is very very important as in when you look at a question prompt please do not start writing because what happens is if you just start writing you may have to come back and erase it if you find maybe if you get a better idea you may want to erase it and rewrite it so the whole process is very time consuming and confusing so we don't want to do that we are going to brainstorm and we are going to mind map and get the relevant ideas and plan it properly maybe you can take uh, approximately 5 minutes to plan and organize and this is going to help you in writing a perfect band 8 scoring essay then you should spend approximately 40 minutes to write the essay this we have discussed uh, in the initial part of this video however uh, you no know, just a quick tip is that not everyone can spend 40 minutes so for some of you you may require let's say 5 minutes more so and uh, maybe you are more comfortable writing the task one that is that is a letter or a report you are more comfortable in writing that so please complete task one initially if you are comfortable and if you can write it faster then come and plan the essay so if if you are slow and if you think that you are taking more time to write the essay never take the risk of starting to write with an essay so uh, for some others it is the opposite actually people can actually write the essay much faster because they are aware of uh, the style and they are aware of the format and they know what they need to write so what happens is they can complete writing the essay within let's say 30 to 35 minutes only so the time is just an approximation it is not exactly meant to be followed you can tailor it as per your requirements then 
as i was talking about planning i just wanted to add one more point on that you need to follow a five step method this method works perfectly every time guys so that strategy is called the power strategy so it is a five step process as i was telling p is for planning o is organizing w is writing e is evaluating r is reviewing so plan organize write evaluate and review so these are the five steps that you need to follow to write uh, a good essay then i have spoken in detail about the power strategy in my earlier videos please do check out those if you wish to get a, a wholesome information i am going to give the link in the description box then the sixth point is time management so uh, as we already spoke 60 minutes is the time given to complete two tasks in the writing section one is task 1 and the second one is task 2 which is an essay hence the better you plan and organize the faster you will write and of course our goal here is not to write fast but also to maintain accuracy so we are going to look at the factors which we, which are going to be the decision uh, factors deciding factors but essentially if you can write faster if you can generate your ideas in a much faster way you can see that you don't need to uh, you know feel the panic and you don't need to waste a lot of time in the end uh, to to complete the essay faster and you don't need to be worried of whether you can finish it on time or not so perfect planning and uh, organizing is very important now let's move on to the next tip then after writing the essay what should you do after writing the essay make sure you have sufficient time to count the number of words yes guys this is not to be taken easily you have to count the number of words because even the test evaluators are going to count the number of words and for this purpose you can clearly see in your answer sheet that there is a, a specific criterion which is mentioned which is called under length if you see the bottom uh, right portion of your answer sheet you can find that there is something called uh, under length that is one of the factors for which you may uh, receive a penalty if you are not meeting the minimum word count so the uh, you, you need to write at least 250 words but there is no upper limit there is no higher limit you can extend it provided you are you are giving proper justification to each and every idea and each and every sentence do not continue writing because if you are not uh, quick in writing then you may lose a lot of time and that might be uh, one of the reasons why you panic in the end so write uh, at least 250 words but make sure you are counting it and uh, one more tip to add here is there are two ways to count the number of words one is yes the manual way of counting word by word so that you are you are uh, confirming for yourself that you have uh, you have met the word count however you need not write the word count again the uh, examiners are going to check the number of words you have written so you need not write the number of words however the second way is that if you are planning and practicing well then you will know that in one line you may write let's say 10 words or let's say eight words for the safer side so you know that uh, so so many lines if you count for example let's say you have written 20 lines so 20 lines and in each and every line you are uh, writing let's say 10 words which means after 20 lines you know that you have written 200 words and you know that you need to write at least 50 more words so roughly 25 to 28 lines is what you need to write so as to meet the word count of 250 and uh, to be on a safer side you can write 280 words then uh, the next tip by analyzing the question you have to understand whether you have to write your opinion or not now this is the factor where you are giving a chance for your score to be either elevated or lowered yes so for certain essay types like do you agree or disagree do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages to what extent do you agree discuss both views and give your opinion so for these question types you need to give your opinion 
whereas for question types like problems and solutions causes and effects advantages and disadvantages discuss both views so for these questions you need not give your opinion so the next tip is the essay consists of three parts an introduction body paragraphs and a conclusion so if you follow this structure only then the essay would look logically sequenced it should contain an introduction this is a starting paragraph followed by the body paragraphs so that uh, writing the body paragraphs varies between uh, one essay type and the other because depending on the type of question you get and the uh, and the question prompt uh, that you can see you need to write either two body paragraphs or you may have to write three body paragraphs in some cases if that is justifiable then finally you need to write a conclusion so you have to follow this structure then let's move on to the next tip for maintaining what is called cohesion make sure that the sentences in the essay are connected well with each other and in a meaningful way so not only should you get ideas but you should also structure them and connect them well to make a body paragraph or an introduction or a conclusion for that matter so that is called cohesion so cohesion means logical way of connecting the sentences then the next tip you can frame a, a good body paragraph by using what are called transitional words which are also called cohesive devices just now i was talking about what is cohesion linking so to in, in order to link the phrases or the sentences together you require transitional words uh, i have particularly insisted on this in every video and separately also i have made a video on these linking words which i'm going to give in the description box again so don't forget to check that video out if you haven't checked it already there i have given uh, various uses and examples of linking words the next tip is you need to generate the points that are relevant to the essay so and the essay the essay should be simpler please don't complicate it by thinking of complex ideas and uh, those ideas which you cannot explain rather the ideas can be a simple one or a basic one uh, and if they are explained very well in a good and efficient way then that is called coherence uh, together with cohesion uh, this gives 25% of the overall score so uh, i uh, i told you earlier that i will be highlighting what are the various band descriptors right so let's check that out so these are the four band descriptors for writing task 2 the first one is called task response which gives 25% of the score and it means that the responses should be complete and fully developed the next factor is coherence and cohesion which means getting the relevant ideas and joining or connecting them effectively so as to convey the whole meaning then lexical resource which denotes that uh, you have to use a wide range of vocabulary both simpler words as well as uh, rarely used words so you need to have a variety of vocabulary so as to score well and make sure that the words are related to the given topic then the finally the last one is grammatical range and accuracy of course the name itself indicates that you need to show a range of grammar like tenses active voice and passive voice uh, then uh, indirect and direct speech and all that of course you need to use it with precision that is accuracy so they are going to check for all these factors each one of these four factors is going to give you 25% of the score then let's look at the way you need to structure your essay that is a very essential tip so this is the structure that you need to follow for the introduction the first three sentences paraphrasing the question then you need to write the thesis statement followed by the general overview then uh, for the body paragraphs you need to start writing with what is called a topic sentence followed by supporting details a survey or an experience and an internal conclusion although the internal conclusion is not mandate uh, mandatory to be written if you can write it it will give a proper structure and orientation to the essay 
so i have explained about each of these in in detail especially about the ways to paraphrase a question and the ways to write a body paragraph perfectly in, on our channel world of english exam so uh, do check that video out i'm going to give the link for paraphrasing in the description box below so uh, this completes the essential tips for scoring a high band i hope all of you uh, now are aware of how to write a high scoring essay and if you like this video don't hesitate to give it a like share it with all your friends and do subscribe to our channel worldofenglishexams.com so till i see you with another video happy preparation guys